ताजा समाचार तमारी भाषा में मेलववा डाउनलॉड करो गुजराती मिड डे एप I was a hands-on mom. Mm. During this time, though, I do have bills to pay, and I am a single mom. So, uh, we did have Rene Jewelers, which is a jewelry brand that we have all over the Middle East. We're in Dubai, we're in Bahrain, we're in Doha, uh, Kuwait. Uh, so we were looking into that, and meanwhile, I was doing some endorsements, and the Miss Universe organization called me hmm. and said, "Would you like to take the franchise?" Right. I was like. What? Really? Mm. Like that's a dream. Mm. Uh, it's a payback of sorts. So I said, yeah. What does it entail? Because I had never had direct relationships with vendors before. Mm. As the star, right. everybody does everything around me, and I don't even have like anyone's number. We can see that. Mm. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> no. No. And so I I got grounded, and I realized how to deal with people because I signed a pretty. intense contract when i took on this franchise right. and it was owned at that point by donald trump which was didn't make it easy or fun so donald trump was your boss uh, no at some point in your life no okay <laughs> luckily the only people who were my boss were paramount communication and madison square garden mm. because they owned miss universe when i was an employee mm. of miss universe for mm. a year as a franchise owner for donald trump and uh, did you meet him Ever? Yeah, because we had association in terms of thing. Doesn't matter. Point <laughs> being, I like how you completely change the subject. Yeah, doesn't because, matter. Yeah, because I couldn't have said it more sharply. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, there are some people that leave an impression because of their achievements necessarily, or their sense of power. It's just the people that they are that you take from them inspiration or something mm. that helps you move forward. Right. He's not one of them, so. Sure, doesn't fair matter. Yeah. So, uh, pardon. Uh, he at that point, I took over 2010. I took over the franchise. We did train. Uh, I called it I am she, mm. uh, and we trained 30 women in the first year, and then 25 and 25. So, a big lot of young women with great potential. Uh, and by 2012, I realized I loved the process of sending girls from India. but i didn't like the people i was working with so okay. i dropped the franchise in 2012 and at this point my daughter is growing up and i have already been very busy doing other stuff except cinema right. and acting and what you do what i do hmm. um or i'm supposed to be doing right. subscribe karo gujarati midday bell icon par click karine melvo tamam video na direct notification